A 10-minute full body workout is the quick, efficient and effective way to improve your fitness, strength and overall health. Imagine the benefits of this workout. Enhanced cardiovascular health, increased strength, improved flexibility and not to mention a significant reduction in stress. The best part? This workout requires absolutely no equipment and can be performed anywhere, be it your bedroom, living room or even a hotel room. So, are you ready to transform your body and your health in just 10 minutes a day? Let's dive into the routine. Before we start, remember that every good workout begins with a proper warm-up. It's like waking up your muscles from a deep sleep and getting them ready for some action. So, let's get our bodies moving. First up, we have jumping jacks. These are great for increasing your heart rate and preparing your body for the workout ahead. Try doing about 20 to get started. Next, let's go for some high knees. This exercise warms up your core, hips and legs. Aim for at least 15 on each side. Lastly, we'll do some arm circles. Start with small circles and gradually make them bigger. This will help loosen up your shoulders and upper body. Let's aim for 10 circles forward and 10 circles backward. Remember, the goal here is not to exhaust yourself, but to gently wake up your muscles and get your blood flowing. The importance of a warm-up cannot be overstated. It helps prevent injury and improves performance. Now that your muscles are warm and ready, let's move on to the first exercise. The first exercise is the squat, an excellent move for strengthening your lower body and core. Squats are a powerhouse when it comes to building strength and flexibility in your legs, glutes and lower back. Let's talk about the proper form to ensure you're getting the most from this exercise and to avoid any unnecessary injuries. Start by standing tall, with your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your chest lifted and your gaze forward. Now, imagine you're about to sit on an invisible chair. Bend at the hips and push your bum back while keeping your knees directly above your toes. Your thighs should aim to be parallel with the ground, but don't worry if you can't get that low just yet. The key is to go as deep as you can while maintaining good form. As you rise back to standing, push through your heels and squeeze your glutes at the top. And there you have it, the perfect squat. Remember to maintain your form and pace yourself. Let's move on to the next exercise. Scene script. Next up are push-ups, a classic move that targets your chest, shoulders and triceps. Let's talk about the proper form for push-ups. Position yourself face down on the floor, hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart and feet together. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. This is your starting position. Now let's get moving. Lower your body until your chest nearly touches the floor. Your elbows should be close to your body, creating a 45-degree angle with your torso. As you push your body back up, make sure to keep your core engaged and your back straight. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you lower your body and exhale as you push yourself back up. This breathing pattern will help you maintain a steady rhythm and keep your muscles oxygenated. Great job! Remember, it's not about how many you can do, but about doing them correctly. Ready for the next move? Our third exercise is mountain climbers, a fantastic move for your core and cardio. This exercise is all about maintaining a rhythm while keeping your form in check. Let's dive into the details. Start in a high plank position, hands planted firmly on the ground, shoulder width apart. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. This is your starting posture. Now here's where the climbing comes in. Drive your right knee towards your chest, then quickly switch and do the same with your left knee. It's like you're running in place but horizontally. Keep your back flat throughout the exercise. Don't let your rear end lift or your lower back sag. Maintain a brisk pace, but remember, it's not a race. The goal is to keep moving without compromising your form. This exercise is a great blend of strength and cardio, so embrace the burn. Fantastic! Keep up the good work, let's move on to the next exercise. Now we'll move on to the plank, a challenging but rewarding exercise for your core. The plank is a fantastic exercise that strengthens your entire body, but it predominantly targets your core muscles. To perform this exercise correctly, start by lying flat on your stomach. Next, push up off the ground into a push-up position, but rest your weight on your forearms instead of your hands. Your elbows should be directly beneath your shoulders. Ensure that your body forms a straight line from your head to your heels. This alignment is crucial in performing an effective plank. 
Now, engage your core muscles. Imagine drawing your belly button in towards your spine. This mental image will help you maintain a strong and engaged core. Keep your gaze slightly in front of your hands to maintain a neutral neck position. Hold this position as long as you can without compromising your form or your breath. Well done. Remember, quality over quantity. Let's move on to our final exercise. Our final exercise is the burpee, a total body workout in one move. The burpee is like the Swiss army knife of exercises. It's compact, it's efficient, and it does a little bit of everything. So, let's break it down. Start by standing straight, then bend your knees and lower your body into a squat. As you reach the ground, place your hands on the floor in front of you. Next, kick your feet back as swiftly as you can, landing in a push-up position. Make sure your body forms a straight line from your head to heels. Now, lower your chest to perform a single push-up. After that, swiftly bring your feet back under you, returning to a squat. Finally, gather all your energy and jump straight up, reaching for the sky. And that's one burpee done. Keep repeating this sequence for a minute. Fantastic job! You've completed the workout, but we're not done yet. Now it's time for a cool down, an important step to help your body recover. Let's begin with some deep breathing. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a moment, and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Feel the tension releasing from your body with each exhale. Now let's move to slow stretches. Start with your neck, gently rotating it from side to side. Move down to your shoulders, rolling them forward and then backward. Continue this pattern, working your way down the body, all the way to your ankles. Each stretch should be slow and controlled, helping to ease your muscles after their intense workout. Wrap up the cool down by simply relaxing your body. Lie down if you can, or sit comfortably. Close your eyes and allow your body to fully absorb the benefits of the workout you've just completed. Great work today! Remember, consistency is key. Keep up this routine and you'll see amazing results. All right, you've just completed a 10-minute full body workout. Let's take a moment to reflect on what you've achieved in this short span of time. We began with a warm-up, preparing your body for the intense workout ahead and reducing the risk of injury. This crucial first step is often overlooked, but it's essential to prime your muscles and get your heart rate up. Next, we moved into squats, a classic exercise that works your entire lower body. Squats are fantastic for building strength and tone in your legs and glutes, and they also engage your core, promoting stability and balance. Then we transitioned into push-ups. This tried-and-true exercise targets your chest, shoulders and triceps, but also demands engagement from your abs, lower back and legs. It's a comprehensive upper body workout condensed into a single efficient movement. Following the push-ups, we tackled mountain climbers. This exercise is a real heart pumper, combining cardio and strength training. It works your arms, shoulders, quads and core, all while keeping your heart rate elevated. We then took on the plank. Although it might seem simple, holding a proper plank fires up multiple muscle groups, improving your posture, balance and overall core strength. Moving on, we finish the active portion of the workout with burpees. This high-intensity exercise is a full body burner, working your arms, chest, quads, glutes, hamstrings and abs. It's also an excellent cardio exercise, keeping your heart rate high and burning calories. Finally, we cool down, allowing your body to recover and your heart rate to gradually return to its resting state. This step is just as important as the warm-up and workout itself. It helps to prevent muscle stiffness and aids in recovery, preparing your body for the next workout session. In just 10 minutes, you've engaged every major muscle group, boosted your cardiovascular health, and kicked your metabolism into high gear. Regularly incorporating this routine into your schedule can lead to improved strength, endurance, flexibility, and overall fitness. Remember, it only takes 10 minutes a day to improve your fitness, strength, and overall health. Keep going and you'll see amazing results. Until next time, stay fit and stay healthy.